that members are back to work uh, from the election break and top of the agenda is the determination of emoluments for outgoing presidents. Now the House will also host the last State of the Nation address by President Mahama fixed for January 5th next year. It was all exchange of pleasantries among members of parliament Tuesday morning when they resumed work after the general elections. At about 10.20 a.m., the speaker, Edward Do Ajaho, walked into the chamber for proceedings to begin. In his welcome address, he urged MPs who had lost their seats in the just-ended elections not to be discouraged, but leave the presence of parliament with hope for the future. I have myself as a speaker as the speaker already packed and only awaiting the conclusion of our final proceedings so as to vacate the speaker's office to enable the incoming speaker assume his role seamlessly. He announced the House reconvened to consider the emoluments of Article 71 office holders as well as receive President Mahama for his last State of the Nation address and assures passage of the Rights to Information Bill. I has already dealt with a substantial portion of the amendments. In the circumstances, it is important that we work assiduously on the remaining amendments proposed and then pass a bill which reflects the national interest within the time available. Meanwhile, the President's State of the Nation address has been rescheduled to January 5, 2017 from the initial December 22 date that was given by the Public Affairs Directorate. Deputy Majority Chief Whip and MP for Banda, Ibrahim Ahmed, explained why. The date and time that the President should avail himself to perform that constitutional mandate is arranged by the Business Committee of Parliament. And the Business Committee of Parliament sat on Monday and we agreed that like we've been doing it every time, we must do the same thing and that the state of the nation should come either before the 4th or the 5th of January.